Hello, my name is Vortex Warp, and welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone video. And today I present to you a seven segment display that displays on a map. So rather than try to explain to you what this is, I think I'm just going to show you. So down in the bottom left, you can see a map over there, and you may see a bunch of numbers on the map. So you see in the top in blue, you've got 09, and then to the right, you've got number two. And then uh, in red, there's the number six there. So we're going to be focusing on the red six. Um, and what we're actually going to do is use our control panel down here to change what number is displayed on the map using this contraption over here. And of course, I'll explain to you how it works. So let's deactivate the number six just so that the contraption resets itself. And once that is done, we could select, for example, the number three. And what will happen is that uh, the contraption will decide which segments to display. And as you can see, a number three is displayed on the map like so. And if we actually look from above, um, the way that's worked is we've actually got a number three here um, in the terracotta blocks over there. So the way the contraption works is um, we basically cover up and uncover the uh, terracotta, which are the segments of the seven segment display using these black concrete. Um, and that black concrete is pushed in uh, with double piston extenders with honey blocks and slime blocks. And these can be right next to each other, which is awesome. So that allows us to have seamless segment coverage. I do think this is quite a cool concept because it means that we can effectively create a map art and then we can tile several of these seven segment displays next to one another to create basically like a five digit number that displays within a single block in the world. Um, so it's really cool, it's like a unique little display um, which you can use and hook up to your contraptions. Of course it is quite bulky but it needs to be in order to display on a map. So let's explain how it works um, and I'll just switch it over to show a few more numbers just to show you that it can do all of those so let's switch it over to a number seven shall we just as an example and wait for that to update um this pink circuit over here is a regular seven segment display sort of decoder type circuit and i've taken this uh from a regular seven segment display which i'll leave a link to down in the description and it will also be in my useful creations playlist which is a playlist of any builds that i use in my resto contraptions that I've just started. So there's only a couple of videos in there, but anything that I find useful or that I use in any of my contraptions will be down in that playlist. Um, so make sure to check that out. Um, and from this seven segment display uh, circuit, we actually run this up these yellow wires um, to our seg segments effectively. And then these um, runs out um, into this red circuit, which basically does the piston extension and retraction, depending on whether the segment is active or not. Um, in order to activate the corners, because of course we want this corner to act be activated if this circuit or this circuit is activated, but if neither is activated, we want it to be closed. Um, we actually use this blue circuit here with the rails on. Um, so both of these segments power these rails um, and that means that um, if this one was the power on, it wouldn't affect the state of this one because it's, of course, powered at the moment by this one. Um, but if both of them were to switch off, then this segment would close itself up. And that's how we do the corners. And those corners are up there, 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 and there. So there's basically six of them. Um, this does mean that if we activate the construction too quickly, we may sort of get a flash through here. So which is why we have to be careful that we don't activate this contraption too quickly. But if I incorporate this into any builds, which I will be doing, um, I'm going to add like a cooldown circuit with a pulse extender so you can't activate it too quickly anyway. Um, it's really cool and I think that's basically everything explained, which is really strange um, because it took a lot of fiddling to get this to work, but it's actually fairly simple. Um, over here, we've just got pistons in the middle because there's not room for the slime extension things and there's not really any need since we can do it from both sides and cover it up. And we've used terracotta here because it doesn't stick to the slime and the honey blocks, but of course it is colored, so we can display whatever color we want on the map. I've also gone for black here because of course there is a one block height differentiation. So if we just switch it off, you can see that um, the borders are actually one block higher than the like channels here. And I found that this does create a slight color difference on the map, as you can probably see over in the segment there in the bottom left. But uh, using black does reduce this, so it's very minimal and not that noticeable, especially once you have the segments themselves active. Um, another uh, strange quirk of the build is that you actually have to have 
the map displayed as a player for the map to update. And this does have the side effect that what if we were to activate a number, um, so let's say we activated the number, let's say five, we can actually see on the seven second display or on this map, sorry, that it doesn't actually update the seven segment display until we hold it and then it immediately updates. So that's like kind of a cool side effect, but it also means that yes, uh, a player does have to be holding this. So you kind of have to hold the map in your hand if you want it to display an update on a block, which is kind of not that great, but it's kind of cool at the same time. That's just how map works. Um, and of course you can't be too far away from this build, otherwise the map also won't update. That's kind of the overview um, of the build. If you want any more details on it, uh, be sure to ask in the description because I'll be very glad to provide them. Um, and that is effectively all there is. As you can see, there's a bunch of prototypes around in the world. Um, I'll just briefly go over these. So of course this one down here is the one that I kind of got working earlier, which is the nine. Um, and this is where I basically had a bunch of long wires winding round. Um, whereas in the final design, I put that in the middle so that there's less sort of random wires everywhere but this one does actually work uh for example we can deactivate that and change the zero there next to the nine to for example a six and you can see that it does update so that's one of the prototypes that i did indeed have um and there are a bunch of others as well so of course that's just where i rebuilt the contraption there uh for the seven segment display and then I started off over here with actually a smaller design, but I decided not to do that. Um, I decided to go bigger. Here I was um, just experimenting with how I could make the segments. So I did at one point try and make it three wide, but I gave up on that. And that's that there. And there are a bunch of other little contraptions around the world as well. For example, here was where I was trying to do it without uh, slime blocks and honey blocks. And it's definitely possible, but I decided to in the end to go for slime and honey because it was just a lot easier. So that's that build and it can display any of the numbers from 0 through 9. I will be using one of these 7 segment displays in the future probably for a bank uh, system that I'm going to make but I'm still sort of working on that so the first episode of that has already come out a uh, quite a while ago actually um, and that was sort of the code that the user put in. Then this is the 7 segment display which is going to display their balance but I still got to work on like storing and adjusting each player's balance, which has proven quite a challenge. So hopefully I can get that done, but that is a future project. And of course this is a very versatile thing. If you have any ideas of how we can use this uh, contraption or any other contraptions that I could build, be sure to leave them in the comments. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.